know that? Is that important to anybody? Maybe it seems like it's so far away that it doesn't mean anything. It's just another holiday. No, it's not. But let me explain something to you. There is no cure for AIDS. People still die of AIDS. Did you know that? Just five people said yes. Yes. Yes! When I first came to New York, I was lucky enough to eventually meet and become friends with so many amazing artists, musicians, painters, singers, dancers, the list goes on and on, writers. And then one day people started getting sick and nobody could understand what was happening. People were just starting to lose weight. People were dropping like flies. They were going to the hospital. Nobody understood what was happening. The news start calling it the gay cancer because it was predominantly in the gay community, which was a terrible shame because I don't know if you understand this right now, but in the early 80s, it was not cool to be gay. It was not accepted to be gay. Did you know that? Yes! Or do you just take it for granted right now? So to be able to stand up and say, I am a homosexual, was a very brave action. A very brave and courageous thing to say and do. Thanks to fucking you, man. Right, the point isn't really about that. Can you imagine what it was like in that time when being gay was considered sinful and disgusting when suddenly the vast majority of the gay community started dropping like flies and people were dying everywhere. When I say they were dying everywhere, I'm not exaggerating. Every day I would wake up and find a new, hear a new story, a new friend. I'd be visiting someone new. I'd be sitting by their bedside watching them die. Hundreds and hundreds. Meanwhile, nobody in the medical community wanted to do anything about it because they said, well, fuck it, they're faggots. They, sh they deserve to die. Ooh. Yeah, that's what they said. It was a pretty devastating, scary time. And I personally lost so many friends so many loved ones, I would have cut off my arms if I could have found a cure for them to live. I watched so many people die, male and female, children, straight, gay, etc. Because in those days, people didn't test blood in the hospital for blood transfusions. So children were also ostracized if they had HIV. I don't know if you know that. In any case, it was a devastating time. And for me, it was like the whole generation was wiped out.